Mine's bigger. That's like a gag gift. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, now we are in to the final two awards, and then I'm going to wrap everything up. The Red Pill Award. Double the new revenue, double the time off, double the giving. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I think so many people feel like you gotta do the same thing over and over and over again, and growth isn't actually part of the trajectory. Um, part of the reason why you know that you did that is because you have systems and you measure what you're doing, you keep yourself accountable. Um, what allowed you to, let's talk about the giving first, what, what allowed you to get more, what put you in a place where you felt like you should get more? I think, I think we've always had our giving, it's back to the systems, right? The systems have been exactly the same, it's just the revenue was better, so the percentage of the revenue was able to be given more, so we had to rise by lifting others. We program at our, our uh, at Shine Insurance, and um, it's a percentage of a premium from everybody's insurance policies or whatever. And we are focused on housing, like issues of housing. So we donate to a variety of different organizations that are, we always do like a couple local and then somebody national. So it's kind of a mix of those things. But I mean, the answer to that question is just, it's just a percentage of revenue. So when the revenue is higher, then the, the, the giving is higher. Okay. And then the time off? Um, the time off is hard. The whole, I mean, I feel like this year the biggest growth as a whole has just been going from being self-employed to being a business owner. Mm -hmm. And that mentality, yeah, I mean, listening to Rod talk about, I mean, he had, he's, you've understood that for a while. Like, you've been a business owner, you know, it's, it's all about business ownership for me. Growing up a pastor's kid, being an elementary school teacher, all I knew was the do part, you know? And so I think that it's been hard to shift that mentality from the, the do, which is just being self-employed, I just gave myself a job, you know, um, to truly being a business owner and figuring out how to work myself out of the job. And while all the three things you said are important and are true, the biggest thing that I feel like really I'm proud of this year is like that shift from self-employed to business owner. And there's still a lot to do. Yeah. There's still a lot to do, but that that's what I'm most excited about. It's the most both a mindset thing and like a physical time off thing. So you mean to tell me you made more money and you took more time off? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Well I think you put people in roles, you know, and you start to again it's back to that same thing. It's like you start putting people in roles and then it's like, oh, you know, I, we, I hired a new salesperson, which is something I hadn't done before. I've always done the sales myself, and I'm still doing a lot of the sales myself. I'm working on that. But to watch someone else make money for you was like, oh, yeah, let's do a lot of this. <laughs> you know, so now the goal is just like, I have more people in that role and get myself, you know, like you said earlier, get yourself off the org chart. And I think that's a great way to put it. It's like, how do I get myself off the org chart? Mm -hmm. So. We, we, this will be good for the, everybody. So there's this, uh, this concept of not wanting to make money as a business owner because you gotta pay taxes. So you wanna figure out how to expense it. But profit is good, right? Well, yeah, I, I mean, I, I guess I hadn't thought about it that way before, but like, yeah, uh, yeah, profit is definitely good. Um, well, we just recently really talked about that more. I was always like gross revenue minus expenses, and all my, if my, if my salary is in the expenses, well, that, that's in the weeds, never mind. Yes. No, it's important. If yeah. your salary is in the expenses, then you're getting paid, but does the business make any money? 
And so going from a business owner to self-employed, or from a self-employed to business owner, do you want the salary or do you want the profit? Right. And if you can grow the profit. I want the profit. I want with, someone else to get the salary. Well, if somebody else is making a salary, then. I think that's a huge thing that we talked about recently. And just like, you put the salary in the place that you're in, you know, that makes sense for that position. And then you work to put someone else in that position instead of yourself, but the profit is what's really important because that's what's flowing into your bank account whether you're doing the work or not. And I wasn't thinking about it that way. But that's how you get to an exit. That's how your company gets valuable. Know, listen to, to so much was learned just in you sharing, you know, and I've seen a couple of people exit. And every time I hear an exit story, it really refines the idea that like business ownership is so much bigger than the way I'm thinking about it, and it's a mindset issue, you know. Thank you, Jeremy. Yeah. Tanisha.